Well, we have our 11 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, and now we do have potential tropical cyclone four. So there is definitely a lot more confidence, and we're starting to get some number readings on this potential tropical disturbance on the impacts it will have on the southeast and the Atlantic coast of the United States. So sustained winds are about 30 miles an hour right now, a central low pressure of 1,012 millibars, so nothing really out of the ordinary right now. And this is still a low pressure center trying to figure out where it's going to develop and get its center of circulation obviously moving over land right now on the eastern edge of Cuba. So that definitely leading to a little bit more disorganization. But we do have our first cone forecast for this potential tropical disturbance. So you're seeing it move on up the eastern Gulf of Mexico right there. When it does warm or move over that warm Gulf moisture and all of that warm Gulf water, that is when we're definitely looking at a possible tropical storm to develop. So that could happen here sometime over the course of the weekend. We will continue to keep you updated. But the cone is following our long range models that we have had. So we're looking at the cone to go make landfall somewhere anywhere from the Big Bend area of Florida all the way down to the southwest corner of Florida. So definitely a lot of question marks about where this system will make landfall and if it is to organize. But all models are hinting at it crossing over the state of Florida over to the Atlantic coast of Georgia and then eventually trekking on up the Atlantic coast of the Carolinas and eventually the northeast. So right now it doesn't look to have many implications here in central Georgia, but this is something we're going to continue to monitor very, very closely as we go throughout the course of this week. Weekend. But Florida is wasting no time. They have already issued some hurricane warnings for this far southwestern corner of Florida, so south of Fort Myers. And then when you get on up into the Tampa Bay area and Fort Myers, we have tropical storm watches and especially the Keys as well over those areas in the eastern Gulf on the western coast of Florida. Taking a look at central Georgia, just want to note that we don't have any watches or warnings whatsoever right now. We'll continue to keep you updated as we do get more information on that. But let's take a look at the spaghetti plots. How are the models handling this? And they're coming into a a lot more agreement. So there still is a good level of uncertainty of where this will make landfall and the path it will take, but a lot better than the past couple of days. When you take a look at the GFS ensemble right here, you can see this red line in the middle. So the most confidence of any of these plots, it looks to be moving over the Tampa Bay area and back out into the Atlantic Ocean. So we could see some brief disorganization with this as it moves over the peninsula of Florida. But once it gets back out into the warm Atlantic waters, that's when we could see an uptick in strength as well. But want to note that a couple of these model runs and ensemble runs, they are hitting at a loop back around here in central Georgia. So that's something we're remaining to keep on or keep on our radar and definitely keep you updated on. We do have an approaching front on Saturday that's hopefully going to continue to steer this back out to sea, but that frontal boundary does look to stall and kind of fall apart throughout the duration of this weekend. So the beginning of next week, we could very well see one of these scenarios play on out, but there isn't much confidence on that as of now. Let's take it through future view. How does it play on out? Well, you can see we're starting to get some outer bands of tropical moisture and tropical rain as soon as Sunday afternoon. So very scattered, but still kind of clumping together a lot better than it was as of this morning on our future view run. And when you take it through the evening hours, it looks to be dissipating, but then it will continue to trek on up the Atlantic coast right there. That is closer to the center of circulation. So we could be looking at very well some more rain for your Monday as well. Taking a look at longer range. So Tuesday, Wednesday on into the midweek next week. Yes, you can see it continuing to trek up the Atlantic coast, but then definitely stalling off the Atlantic coast of North Carolina and regaining that circulation as it continues its northeastern push up the Atlantic coast of the United States. This is all but certain that far out, but something we're continuing to keep on our radar, especially if we are to see a possible loop around back here in central Georgia, which would definitely create some flooding concerns. But as of right now, this is how we stand. Something to keep a close eye on as we go throughout this weekend for any outdoor plans or any last minute summertime plans. So continue to stay updated with us here at 13 WMAZ for the latest updates.